Hey guys, Timmy D with Mid South 360. Today we're going to talk about the Insta360 Pro and balancing on the Moza Guru 360 Air. Let's take a look. All right, so this is my project. That this whole uh, um, what's the word on the robot wheelchair base? That's going to be for another day. Uh, stuff I got to perfect. What I want to talk about, try to make this a very uh, short and just to the point video. When you go to the um, Moza website and look at the videos on balancing this thing, unfortunately, you do not see completed videos, them showing it balanced and sitting there. And so I'm going to show you how to properly fix this thing so that it will balance with the Insta360 Pro with a battery in it. So I do have the battery. So let's get down to it. Uh, you're going to have to cut off the end. So I took a hacksaw and cut just above the bottom screw hole. Uh, because if you're using the Insta360 Pro, you will not use the bottom hole. In order to balance this properly, you need all five weights on both sides. And in order for you to get it low enough to have it perfectly balanced, you have to cut that off or it will hit, period. Also, you need to take a, you'll notice that these are facing out on both sides. And that's because I took a one quarter inch, a quarter by 20 uh, screw. I cut it off to where the length of it was go from the the middle here to the middle there so that's that's almost an inch long you can measure it's not hard then you screw that thing through the hole and now you can attach these in a in a single row on both sides why they don't let you do that from the very beginning I have no idea but that's another requirement um, so as far as balancing this it your movements when you move this thing even a 64th of an inch, it makes a huge difference. Huge. You have to move in almost unmeasurable amounts to get it perfectly balanced. And, and it, even then, it's really hard. I've got wind blowing out here. Okay, so right now, let's, I mean, we've got wind. And we are dealing, this thing, it's heavy. This thing is heavy. So there it is right there. I'm going to come, I'm going to put it right there. All right, it's holding. Now, let's come back and let's turn it, let's turn it this way, see how she does. Okay, so it's holding there and you can see there's, there's air. It's not being held and, and picked up by, uh, it's not being held by the edge. So, this thing is balanced. This is what you want on a perfectly balanced Insta360 Pro. My camera, if you come up to the top, the, the battery compartment, and I will show you that, ah, hold on, I'm sorry. It's terrible for video, but there, the battery is in it. I wanted you to see the battery is in there. Sorry for that awful camera work there. Um, so take your battery and face it to the back. When you are trying to get this thing centered if you have a tendency for it to fall frontwards or backwards, there's no adjustment on the gimbal itself to fix that. So you have to get the, the center of gravity for the battery, excuse me, for the camera, uh, exactly right. So if it's falling forward, you're going to have to loosen that screw right there and move it back. Once you get the front to back to where it's not uh, tilting one way or the other, then you know it's centered. And then, obviously, if it's falling to the left or the right this way, now you have to adjust that one. And again, a hundredth of an inch is the difference between being balanced and unbalanced. And then, um, what else? Oh, of course, and then just here, you know, left, left and right. And it can be balanced this way, and it should be balanced that way. When it's perfectly balanced, it doesn't matter what side is up and what side is down. So don't let them tell you or anybody tell you, well, it's gotta be balanced this way. That's not true. If it's perfectly balanced, it doesn't matter. So that's it. Man, you guys do that. This thing will be perfectly balanced. It will work really well. Now, the only modification I don't have yet 
is uh, I've got to, you see what's going to happen when that hits? And if it ever, if this thing ever gets under strain, something happens, there's a timeout. And if the, if the gimbal goes like, say, it's mainly if it's unbalanced, in which before now, it, I couldn't get it balanced because it, you just couldn't. So now it'll be balanced, it probably won't be an issue, but if it, if it went under strain and could not pull back, it literally just shuts off. And so if it shuts off and you're unbalanced, then what, guess what happens? Comes down, Lynn hits that, and then bam, your camera's ruined. So I'm gonna put foam, I'm gonna put a little piece of foam here and uh, right around the, the edges here so that if this thing ever falls down left or right and hits right there, uh, it is, it's protected and uh, nothing will ever happen. And it should go without saying, uh, when you do your balancing, make sure you don't have your lens protector on because your weight will be off. And so guys, I hope, uh, this is probably a little longer than I had anticipated. It's on my cell phone. I, I really just didn't have time to go set up cameras and do it the way I would like to. I'm just, I'm pressed for time. So, uh, but I did want to put this out there. And then once uh, the height of this whole operation is, so look at this, it's going down, but it's balanced so it didn't just keep dropping, which is kind of nice. Um, the height of this deal right here, way too high. So I've got to cut this off. I welded a piece uh, to replace the seat down there. Man, this, this has just got too much. I don't know if it's going to be doable or not, but again, I'll do another video on this. It's remote control, uh, so pretty cool that I can just whoop, turn my... and just wheel it around just like that. And of course, the idea was to have the 360 camera on top and go in and do tours and what have you, um, but I gotta fix the wobble. So if I can never fix that uh, and get it to where it's stabilized enough with the gimbal on top, then uh, I'm gonna have a nice little setup. All right, guys, until next time.